This video is to announce that I'll be launching a new weekly video series. Yay! For those of you who have known me for a long time might recall uh, the last time I did a video series, which was Tweet Week, uh, many, many years ago. But my new series is going to be a bit different. It doesn't have anything to do with social media or marketing, and I'm not really an expert in it, but I have been spending a lot of time learning about this topic, and I would like to share some of that learning with you each week. As you might infer from the title and from the little brain graphic below, I'll be discussing uh, topics each week related to scientific theories and research in neuroscience. I know, crazy, right? Now, I should back up and explain how this all came about. I left the corporate world a year ago uh, to work from home and be my own boss, and I was really excited about it. I thought it was going to be awesome. And although I would not say that I've been a complete failure at being my own boss, I would definitely say it's been an exhaustive struggle. In the last year, I've realize that the biggest obstacle between, you know, success and my dreams and everything I want is, well, me. <laughs> and I know that's not a new concept, that you are your own worst enemy and the only thing standing in the way of you and your dreams is yourself, etc., etc. And I've, you know, tried to use the numerous self-help resources, you know, getting things done and I, all the gamut of, of setting goals and, and, and really trying to get yourself on track, giving you structure and guidance and to help you make fundamental changes in the way that you work, but nothing seemed to have a lasting impact. I seemed to just be jumping from new tool to new tool, just making assumptions that it's just not for me. Uh, and with every book I read and philosophy I studied, it seemed that all that great wisdom um, of people who have really succeeded in the world would just go in one ear and out the other. Uh, and then almost accidentally, I stumbled across a book uh, that talks about how the brain works, and it's called Brain Rules. And I was just in awe. For the last two to three months, I've been spending most of my free time reading books and going to events and listening to podcasts about how our brain works, you know, all based on studies in neuroscience and psychology. And more importantly, how uh, it makes us who we are, you know, how your brain and synapses and all the stuff that goes on up there and how we can change it. Learning about your brain is definitely awesome, and it's a meta experience for sure. I feel like at some point my brain's just going to be like, no, 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 Julia, you know too much. <laughs> but the reality is, is that, you know, it's only been 10 to 15 years, uh, in the last 10 to 15 years, that scientists have really had the technology uh, capable of, of really studying the brain to, to make some conclusive analysis as to what's going on up there. Um, so it's... It's all very new. We know more about the brain in the last 10 to 15 years than we knew in all of you know the 400 years before that. Um, and the more we know about our brain and how it works, the better that we can hack that system to perform, perform the way we want versus the way that we just kind of think that we are. Like, oh, I just, you know, I can't concentrate. My attention's really bad. You know, I've always been that way. It's really something that you can change. Um, and although you may not be able to make, you know, vast, significant, you know, improvements going from zero to 100, you can make incremental changes that make a big difference. And so I've been kind of fascinated. I've been knee deep in, knee deep in all kind of brain-focused learning. And in all seriousness, I don't think that enough people know how their brain works. I, people don't know what scientists know about our brain. And so I want to teach you how to hack your brain the same way that I'm learning. I want to kind of take you along for the ride. So through this new uh, weekly video series, uh, I'll share interesting and inspiring things I'm learning and a little bit about how I'm using it to change my own brain and change my own habits. Next week is going to be on neuroplasticity. Each series will cover one uh, new topic, you know, as a central theme. Uh, and next week is neuroplasticity for video number one. And it's really such a huge topic uh, and it's really involved in most of the things I'll be talking about throughout the rest um, of the video series. But it, it's just such a huge shift in the way that we understand our brain and it really, Conclusive findings only came out, you know, in 2005, so not too long ago, and I just don't think that it's that it's that enough people know about this fundamental shift in the way that scientists and, and, and science understands how the brain works. There's still a lot we don't know, but there is a lot that we do know, and there's you know a lot of studies that are really promising. So I want to teach everyone about how to hack their own brain. So please come back next week for a topic on neuroplasticity. 
Thanks for watching.